Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to take a look at the, the Zwecky Designs Moscow Landmarks Pack. Uh, we are flying over the default scenery first to check out what that looks like and get a sense of my motivation for why I decided that this pack might be a good thing to get. It costs, it's Bayware, it costs 12 euros or 15 US dollars at the moment. And here we see we're about to pass the outer circuit road of Moscow. We're following along the M11 highway, I believe, right now. And uh, there's a road that we're about to cross that will be basically the boundary into Moscow proper. And I'm taking a look around and we see in the default scenery a lot of beige buildings. <laughs> a lot and a lot of beige buildings. And that is part of the problem, if you will. And there's sort of undefined scenery here. There's nothing to look at. This building in the distance you can see there. We're headed towards it. You can see a white building there. And uh, we are definitely headed uh, straight towards that. And that is one of the custom landmarks in the default game. That's Moscow State University. As we get closer, we see a bunch of buildings pop up here. And that's uh, International Business Center. That's actually uh, the Moscow International Business Center where most of the really tall buildings in Moscow are clustered, but you wouldn't know that from taking a look at it. It doesn't look particularly spectacular to the left there. Yeah, that looks distinctly lackluster, to be honest. Uh, anyway, you can see the State University is very prominent. It's glistening, and I want to make a note of that because uh, that will change with the new scenery pack, and I'm, I have mixed feelings about that. So uh, the default game does a really nice job of this model for the Moscow State University. Very detailed and crisp. And so take a good look at that. I'm not actually sure whether the pack actually replaces this model or not because the model with the Jezwecki Designs pack installed looks about the same. All I know is that it's not as visible from a distance. I do sort of want an option to keep the default models in the installer for the Moscow Landmarks pack because on that one I'm more 50-50. On the other major landmark that the game has by default, uh, which is the Cathedral of Christ the Savior, uh, the, uh, it has the Kremlin too, but frankly I'm glad that that gets replaced. But you can see the Cathedral of Christ the Savior in front of us right now. We're pointed towards it. It's got a very golden dome, very crisp. So pay attention to that because again, the, the payware pack replaces that. And in this case, I would prefer the stock one. And uh, that's a rarity. The, the add-on pack has a lot of good stuff in it. And you'll see that for sure. But in this one case, I sort of wish there was an option to keep this one because it just looks so good. It might be unrealistic. It's unrealistically good, if you understand. Uh, you can see the Kremlin in front of us now. It's uh, sort of to the east of the cathedral and in the midst of what looks like a park but uh red square is to our right but you wouldn't know it to look at it <laughs> this is the problem so my motivation for moscow somebody in the comments mentioned matthias rust's flight into moscow landing in red square well on the bridge uh across the river from red square uh so but we'll just call it red square okay landing in red square and that was a famous flight that caused a lot of brouhaha and I would like to duplicate it. Yeah, it might be a good thing to try and duplicate with a Cessna 172 he landed there. A young person uh, doing something very, very silly. <laughs> but uh, anyway, very, very famous too. So this is Red Square. I'm uh, doing a flyover. And you'll notice there's a building missing that we're flying over right there. There's definitely a building there. But uh, the scenery has not captured that building at all. So that's where we would try to land at. The question is, it's not very red squarey right now. It doesn't have St. Basil's Cathedral. There's a lot that's missing right there. So that's definitely one reason why I wanted a new scenery pack because there is just so much missing. And the city on the whole, if we take a look at this uh, landscape, is so beige. <laughs> it is so unremarkable. Um, it's rather depressing. And, you know, there are stereotypes about uh, Russia, but this is going overboard. <laughs> I mean, uh, if you're intending to fly a lot in Moscow, this is probably not acceptable. Another thing, across the river from Moscow State University, you see that stadium? That's just one of those flat stadiums that the AI totally fails at. 
uh, considering it's so close to one of the custom monuments that they made uh, Moscow State University, you think that they would have improved on that. Anyway, we are flying now with the Dzowiecki Designs Moscow Landmarks Pack, and we will see what it adds. It advertised a thousand buildings, and it's about one gigabyte for a download, so it's about the same physical size as the Orbix uh, scenery for London. But it has a lot more buildings, so I'm suspecting that it's not going to end up with as crisp textures. Um, but we'll take a look. Uh, we're crossing into Moscow proper here. And what we see, first of all, is that the business center is very prominent. What isn't very prominent right now is the Moscow State University anymore, right? That uh, glistening white building is not very prominent. I spotted some other interesting buildings along the way. And so we're deviating around, taking a good look at the area. Um, one thing is that there are some outlying stadiums, not the one across the river from Moscow State University, but there are some outlining, outlying uh, stadiums that could do with some work that aren't improved by the landmarks back. But, uh, but that's not, I guess, within its scope. There are some other custom buildings. There's one to our left that I didn't notice before. Uh, there are a lot of uh, buildings that are sort of similar in in sense, in general design, to Moscow State University around Moscow. So this is one of those. And there's sort of a park there, a business park lined with buildings, and uh, four multicolored buildings and sort of a round dome. So those, I think, are new. Uh, that is definitely not the stock scene. Uh, some of them look sort of stockish, but uh, these, these four definitely are custom, and then that uh, cylindrical one, that's new. So yeah, we can see a very tall tower in the background there, that's a television mast. Uh, that is new, that was in there before, that's the Ostan Kino television tower, and here is the business center. Well, that is very different, isn't it? And uh, a lot like the, the business center in London, Again, uh, I think the textures are not quite the same as the Orbix ones. They're good enough for me. I, I wasn't expecting too much better. Uh, the Moscow Landmarks pack is actually a lot cheaper than it was for uh, X-Plane 11. I didn't get it for X-Plane 11 because it was so expensive. The default price for it was $36 in X-Plane 11. And sometimes it went on sale for 20 But I thought that was a little bit pricey. Uh, here for $15 though, it's uh, much more affordable and I was willing to get it. Uh, and even though the stock scenery is better than the stock scenery in X-Plane 11, it certainly is an improvement. And I'm not covering it in this video, but there are supposed to be improvements to various airports around Moscow. But that's work in progress, so I just decided not to take a look at the airports just yet until it stops being work in progress. And it's an optional part. And so there's an option in the installation. We can see other new buildings here. Uh, there's an option in the installation uh, for whether you want to install the tentative airport scenery or not. So that's work in progress, so we'll leave that be. So. That's additional things that the Orbix scenery didn't cover, so um, somewhat explaining the additional price, though this is still very affordable. And we see that there is a stadium across from the Moscow State University, but boy, the Moscow State University with this model really just blends into the terrain and it is not glistening like the stock model is. The stadium uh, stands out much more actually as we take a look at that. But turning around, let's take a look at the Moscow State University model right now. And again, I'm not totally sure that this is a new model or not. It looks so similar. If this is a new model from the pack, that, that I mean, well, I mean, it's the same building. I guess it should look similar. But uh, the one thing I do know is that from a distance, we couldn't see it as prominently. And maybe that's because of the other landmarks around. It just didn't pop up. But I, I do feel like it's a little bit more beige. I think it's a new model. But boy, I mean, it's it's a close call. I think it's I think it's a different model, and that the the stock one is perhaps a little bit crisper. But all I know is that I couldn't see it as prominently from distance. So, well, that one. But yeah, some days I'll want it to really stand out, and some days I'd feel like I'd rather not have it 
poke out so much. It's a 50-50 thing. We see the statue of Peter the Great uh, at the front there. It's a very awkward statue. It looks like it's from the 19th century, but it's actually from 1997, and people have mixed feelings about that. You can see the Cathedral of Christ the Savior right there, and again, not glistening towers. The, I don't know, uh, you might feel differently about that. I feel like I'd rather have the stock one, but I can see that this one might be actually more realistic. It's difficult. But taking a look at Red Square now, we see that building that was missing. Uh, in fact, all these buildings are new in this area. Um, and we see that it is much more identifiably Red Square with St. Basil's Cathedral. Uh, the Kremlin is looking more of a proper shape. I think it was oversized in the stock scenery, to be honest. Uh, and uh, yeah, things are a little bit better proportioned. A lot better proportions. All these, all the towers around the Kremlin. Yeah, this is certainly much improved. And uh, the surrounding buildings around the Kremlin are all custom, a part of the payware scenery. So that's really where where they say that there's a thousand buildings. It's mostly in that area, though they've done a fair job of getting buildings in other locations, including the business center. You can see the statue there. I was sort of fascinated by that because I, initially while flying in the game, I didn't know what it was. I had to look it up after the fact. So um, it, it's, it's, uh, it's an interesting thing. Anyway, <laughs> so flying by uh, the cathedral again, you can see the textures. And the textures aren't as crisp as the stock model, to be honest. Maybe, because uh, I mean, this is still early going, uh, maybe it'll be improved in later editions of the scenery pack. Anyway, I wanted to visit the television tower here, which is very tall. Um, according to Google, it's 1,772 feet. And taking a look at our altitude, that seems to be right. And so that's a remarkable feature that was missing from the game before. Though, if the AI tried to make it the way the AI normally makes things, it might look really awkward. So, best to have a custom model of it if we're going to have it at all. And so that's looking very spiffy. And I also, from this vantage point, was able to spot another feature. And that's this, uh, these cooling towers for a power plant. And they are multicolored, so I, I'm guessing pretty strongly that this is not the stock scenery, so this is custom. So there's a smattering of things outside the sort of core area of Moscow that have been added, and is among them, I believe. And I continue to go building hunting after this, trying to see if I can spot some of the more interesting buildings that might be outlying that we couldn't see before. But first, a flyover. You can see the boundary between the beige area and the custom buildings that come with this pack, right? There's sort of a line, and these are glistening. It's interesting, the Moscow State University and the Cathedral are the two things that don't glisten more than the stock scenery. But all these buildings around the Kremlin uh, are definitely more eye-catching. You can see the very distinct border between the stock scenery and the custom scenery now from the payware scenery. Uh, so these are all new buildings and we fly once again over Red Square and St. Basil's Cathedral. I'm trying to get a good look at the Kremlin this time. Okay, and that cathedral once again. Here's another uh, custom building that I missed on an earlier pass. I want to say, I can't even pronounce it, it's some embankment. <laughs> It's an embankment building, Kotelnishskaya, I think. I think that's it. Uh, these, I don't know what they are, but that's definitely new. So obviously this is a huge, huge improvement, and maybe there'll be updates further on to add other features, including the airport stuff and maybe other things, and maybe there'll be an increase in price because, uh, again, the previous versions for other sims had a higher price. But aside from the one caveat with the Cathedral of Christ the Savior, which I wish there was an option in the installer to keep the default one, other than that, I was pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, the Red Square is now worth landing in, so 
that plan may be in motion. But anyway, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.